Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Drastic Quill here, back with some more Fallout 4. So, uh, in the last episode, we finally made it to the Institute. And now we are going to be trying to do stuff for the Brotherhood. Getting rid of this mission. So, we have to go talk to Elder Maxon. I bet you, because we're behind this door, we can't fast travel. We have to be in the Institute, not a division of the Institute. Or do I have to finish Institutionalized? Maybe I do. So I guess, uh, I guess I have to finish this. Meet the division leaders. Yuck. I kind of don't want to do that. Is there a chance that going up here will just, uh, exempt me from having to do it? Or is this just some other guy I gotta meet? And the side has been wiped on the floor. I honestly don't know. I suppose it's your job. Now hold still. Hey, Doc. And just come in here while they're sleeping and <laughs> expect them to talk to me. You can return to your duties and remember to record every symptom. They weren't kidding. You really are here. I hope I'll well, all right. When Father told me, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna skip. I just wanted to find my now that you, the whole you, conversation there's a lot because of we're, we're so, just looking to get out of here as quickly as possible. Good to hear. Gonna have much trip to the, uh... It must be a challenge to meet the power demand. Abs mm -hmm. Over the when uh -huh. fortunate it's uh -huh. <laughs> doesn't really add much to the story. She just wants us to help out with uh, the power needs because, of course, this place has it's an honor to a have high you. power demand that they have to keep up. <sighs> She's having troubles with Nothing that. Nothing to report, sir. Nothing to report, you say. I am seriously thinking of heading over to robotics to We're knock some heads together. To working with you. It's an honor to meet you. Oh Packing my gourd. Get out of my way. Take some courses with me. You know, send a message. Mm. Excuse me, doctor. So. There's enough friction as it is here you between are. us. Just for now. All the other Acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll Acting be director you. because he's filling We're in for doctor. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you. For the, but you're, mm -hmm. I'm sure you understand. No, I'm going to be skipping over this. Why? Don't you think? Oh, it's uh -huh. now. Father is uh -huh. our primary. Of I I'm sure it's best for everyone if the synths remain. Certainly, mm -hmm. there is uh -huh. our main instrument. Right. Court. Sure. They are high. Well, I guess. In uh -huh. fact, <laughs> I'm no stranger to come. If you want to know what's so, going uh, on here, now. you can just sort of. I'd like to know more about the synth reclamation. Five. He says well, something, and then in those you can read that if you want. But I am a little tired of talking to these institute people because, as you already know, I don't really have much respect for them. Subject identified. Other is something I gotta do. A little promise I made. Uh, where is it here? Oh, it's not actually here. Okay. We have to get the serum from the bioscience division. It must make you proud. So that way, uh, whatever, what's his name? Virgil can, uh, slowly become human again. I don't know if he actually ever does become a human. I'm pretty sure that they didn't include that. Pretty sure he just stays a super mutant for the rest of his life, but I can't remember completely. Not yet. Doc. I wonder how Welcome. The family so good to have you here. Young Dr. Clayton Holder. To 10 years old right now. I can't. I look forward to learning more about it. Next. Just going to completely lie on sure. my butt Seems about like there's nothing you guys how amazing everything is. I'm, I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but... Great. In it. You mentioned medical care. I might need that from time to time. There in we go. Case, now I can he's our top uh -huh. Dr. Volkert works in the infirmary. You won't find... Perfect, okay. So now there should be a locked door somewhere here. That leads into a different apartment of the... leads to a different part of the bioscience division. I just can't remember where it is. Exactly. Is it that one? 
I think it might be. Because it's a novice locked door, right? Got it. No, but it's got a lot of good stuff in here. So let's uh let's do a little bit of looting. Carrying too much. It's impossible. Let's do a level up. Okay, can't rank up anything I already have. Then we will go up in strength. So I'm not overweight. There we go. I'm not specifically going through all this to try to loot everything. I'm actually actively Dr. trying Holdren to find the, the goddamn door that so. leads. Here it is. FEV lab entry terminal. Is there a way to the left here? There is. Haha. -ha. So maybe there's a password for that computer somewhere. Because I don't have the master level hacking. And my follower cannot come in here. 260, you say. Let's eat some cram. 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 Bioscience terminal. Okay. I think the only terminal that might give me a password is a named terminal. So I think what we gotta look for is we gotta look for that heads, the head of this department's like uh, personal computer. So I got a feeling that's where we would find something like that. Oh no no no, there's just a side door, perfect. I'm guessing that main door. That's it is for late game people to kind of skip this bit because this bit that I'm about to go into this is a bit of a dungeon did that put me overweight? it did, it just barely did great pork and beans since Ooh, we can use a Righteous Authority now. Because we're going to be going up against Synths. And they're going to give me uh, Fusion Cells. Sweet. Sorry that I'm doing this and boring you guys. Just I made a promise to uh, Virgil that I intend to keep. unfortunate as I know what's on the other side of the door. Standing. It's an assault run. Standing. I'm gonna do a save. Down. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take this thing on. Nice. God, it's about to go full Super Saiyan here. So, Medex, Jet, Psycho. There we go. Wonder how many things I'm addicted to now. 
Fallout 76, they do go nuclear. Do they go nuclear in Fallout 4? I can't remember. I'm a little scared. <laughs> okay, I don't think they do. Okay. I'm gonna take that risk. Cream. Wait, it's got aluminum on it. That is worth it. Wonder glue, worth it. Duct tape, worth it. Wonder glue, worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Gamma rounds. 10 millimeter rounds, worth it. Wonder glue. Worth it. It's too quiet. I sell this. F Why do I have this flamer on me? That's just a waste of inventory space right now. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. That that is pretty cool. Gotta admit. Laser tripwire. Of course, that just puts me over the top. Uh, okay. Drink a goddamn all American Nuka Cola. Novice lock terminal. Bled. Open. What happened to open sesame? What happened to good old open sesame? Oh, so it's gotta be this one. Through. Open sesame. Hey, Peter, open sesame. Not leaving anything behind, okay. Aha, here we go. And the serum is somewhere in here. This? Experimental serum. We did it. Might as well play this that. This is Dr. Elliot reporting for the Bioscience Division. March 22-24. We just received another batch of subjects, but as my previous report stated, we're at an impasse here. Okay, so now that I have the serum, I'll return that to Virgil off-camera at some point. The two most promising strains of and, uh, I'm going an to state, go back we're still missing to the Pridwin. I am officially echoing the team's position. The most likely progress for my next orders on synthetic organics requires new avenues of exploration. Additional Commonwealth subjects will not help. It's the same problem across the board. Exposure to too much radiation. We need something, someone new. I am not entirely comfortable with it, but it seems the best course. I'm telling you guys, we're almost there. Wait, so what mission do I have? Aki now. Synth retention. Screw that. We're going to the Bridwin, boys.
I'm gonna go tell that goddamn old Mac about Franken, Dent Franken, Ain't too bold, Dent Franken, Goddamn freaking robots, damn it. I think that's pretty cool that we just sort of like teleport here and Nick Valentine just somehow knew that we were all just somehow knew that we were up here. You're an inspiration to us all night. Fridwin Command Deck. Elder Max in. Elder Max in. I receive word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. How cooperative do you think she'll be? I've convinced her that the Institute is the enemy, not the Brotherhood. Well done, Knight. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, we'll interrogate her aboard the Pridwin. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade, and we can't afford to take any chances. Now, I believe you still possess an important piece of data that Proctor Ingram is eagerly awaiting. I want you to bring it to her immediately. Once again, Knight. You don't fail to impress. Dismissed. We did it. From within completed. 467 XP. I swear to God, if I go down there and I give this holotape to Proctor Ingram, and then Proctor Ingram just sends me back here to Elder Maxon, I'm not gonna be happy. If I have to do all this leg work. Goddamn flying the frickin' vertebrae to and from Elder Maxim. To and from the Pridwin. So how are you guys enjoying the series? I'm pretty sure that we're almost finished, honestly. Like, think about it, there's, there's just going to be a little bit of uh, more diplomacy, and then eventually we'll have to pick a side. Here's your holotape, Proctor. Do what we got to do. the data on that thing was worth it. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the Interceptor would do to you. You mean being zapped into energy and then put back together again? Piece of cake. You can make jokes all you want. But I wouldn't put so much faith in technology I didn't understand. Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. Hopefully it'll reveal- That would be the- Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan's scribes can get off of it. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's gonna take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, I've got a new assignment for you. So, I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about it? He seems to feel it's pretty important. Important is an understatement. We're pouring every resource we have into this thing. I hope it's worth it. Come on, it's this way. Blind as a bat, oh, we're I'm gonna sure see you it. noticed that we've been building a gantry on the tarmac. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe to toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new Liberty Reprimed. Oh man, this was one of the main reasons why I wanted to go, uh, Brotherhood of Steel. This storage bay full of parts is what's left Where is this head? Prime. The Brotherhood used there it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Unfortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. No problem. 
I'm sure this only looks worse than it actually is. Huh. I wish I had your confidence, because this is not going to be easy. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. There's got to be a way to solve that. I do all the maintenance on the Pridwin, so you'd think it'd be a snap. As much as I hate to admit it, Prime's power systems are out of my league. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. Well, Jesus Christ. To you too. Dr. Lee is just so hard to work with, eh? Like, you gotta convince her every other, like, minute to do something. Oh, Lee, the Institute bad. Come to the Brotherhood. Oh, why? Institute bad. Uh, Institute bad? Okay. Dr. Lee, we need help with robot. Nah. Come on. It's Liberty Prime. You know it off the back of your head. Nah. Come on. Okay. God damn. These, these Dr. Lees and their freaking science have an easier time getting Dr. Zimmer to come out of hiding and help us with this project. God damn, he's not even a scientist. He's just a synth. Which, by the way, is pretty much confirmed, by the way. That Dr. Zimmer does have a synth chip or whatever it is. On his dead corpse, so he's kind of a synth. He's also a bit of a simp. And I think it's just how it is, you know. Attention! You Any soldiers who have not yet received the field assignment oh, from Proctor Tegan should speak to him at dance. once. That is all. <laughs> hey, Lee. If you're here to talk me into working on Liberty Prime, you can care. forget it. One of us is a liar, and it isn't me. Oh, don't try and pin that nonsense on me. I said I'd come back to the Brotherhood, and I have. But you neglected to mention that I'd be asked to work on Liberty Prime. I've been down this road with the Brotherhood before. Why would I make the same mistake twice? Because... because we care what happens to the Commonwealth. You may not like the Brotherhood, but the people of the Commonwealth shouldn't have to suffer for it. You know, if anyone that. else wearing a Brotherhood Valentine of Steel like uniform that. said something like that, I'd laugh in their face. But, coming from you, it sounds like you actually mean it. Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. Wow. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online. I just had to say it was for the Commonwealth, we'll and she was like, Yep, yep, we're, we're, we're doing it. Let's get this going. Oh man, I'm late Let's get this bread, time. gamers. Captain Kells is going to have should I get Paladin dance following me again? Yeah, sure. Paladin. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Ready. Roger that. Damn. Valentine. Go back to Sanctuary, Nick. Jesus Christ. Now I got a freaking guy in power armor following me around. Now I gotta go through. 17 different doors just to get back to where I need to be. Yeah, I probably have to go back to Proctor Ingram, right? Why is there so much walking in this goddamn game? Maxon's just like, go to Ingram. Ingram's just like, go to Lee. Lee's just like, okay, let's go back to Ingram. Jesus. Go meet all the freaking division heads. All four of them, which are all behind their own door, so you gotta go through doors like eight times. Each door has a loading screen. I thought it was cool that, uh, that Fallout 4 did have some nice 
parts about it, you know? Like, it didn't... Any small home or place or whatever doesn't take, like, a ton of work to get, like, uh, to get it loaded in, like it used to. Oh, oh, now we have some of them moved out here. That's good. Ammo box empty. Proctor. Well, things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant oh, damage to here. his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Hmm, charming, isn't she? Sorry about that, Ingram. Don't worry about it. We might be butting heads on a few issues, but I've dealt with worse. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're gonna have you start building as electromagnetic actuators. Sure, anything you need. That's what I love about you. You're ready to leap into action, and I bet you don't have the faintest idea what I'm talking about. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in his limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now, before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the Another rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. Wait, wait, wait. So I need four high-powered magnets? Or just one? Okay. I think... I'm gonna go on a bet and say it's just the one. Okay. Now... Let's see if I'm lucky. Because we might have a high-powered magnet at Sanctuary. And if we do, I'll be very happy. Thankfully, in this game, you don't scrap, uh... You don't scrap junk like you do in, uh, Fallout 76. So it's a bit better that way for this sort of stuff. The only thing that really sucks about it is that when you get, like, really heavy scrap, it really weighs you down. Please, high power magnet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Can I get lucky? No, we don't have it. Okay. Okay, no, that's that's fine. We can get one. But I guess we'll have to get it in the next episode, unfortunately. So guys, until then, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.